Mail call. All right, so what do we got here? Let's open her up real quick, make sure I don't cut into something. Before we get into it, let me take a quick minute to plug my favorite opening device, Screw Pop uh, blade, basically, that can be replaced with any kind of blades. Excuse the rusty blade. This is an old in here, uh, but I use this thing pretty regularly, and they're like 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, it's a great little blade to use uh, and have around. All right, get that crap out of the way. Let's see what we got. Okay, so looks like we have new wallet from my good friends at Arrow Collective, uh, Steve there. Uh, and if you're familiar with Arrow Collective, we'll open this in a second. Uh, backed them on Kickstarter when they had their stealth wallet, the Razor wallet, and here it is after about a year's worth of wear. Um, a little bit of fraying around the edges on it, but this wallet has proven to be uh, my favorite wallet, uh, and I'd look for a minimalist wallet for a really, really, really long time. I've carried quite a few. If you've seen my video that I did on this, um, when I first unboxed this and got this in the mail about a year ago, um, it's a great wallet, and uh, I would recommend this wallet to anybody. Again, a little bit of fraying around the edges, um, so you know, I guess from a design perspective, Steve, if you're looking at this, maybe take a look at some of that fraying around the edges. But other than that, it carries everything that I need. Does not give me the Costanza wallet, and I really like that. So. I'm gonna open this in a second, but the folks at Aero Collective sent me one of their leather wallets. Uh, and as you can see, if you can read this, it looks like it's in the midnight color. Um, and I wanted to kind of take a look at that and see what their leather was all about since uh, I love this wallet so much. So let's take a look. Uh, the packaging is very nice. Uh, it looks very professional. I mean, it looks like an envelope, right? Um, really nice. I don't know if you can see this or not, but you have some of the Aero Collective kind of symbols ingrained here in the um, actual uh, packaging, which is nice. Uh, opens up like a letter, and we have their leather stealth wallet. So as opposed to their Razor stealth wallet, this is their leather, and it is in the Midnight color, which I believe is a dark blue. It looks black, uh, and I'm sure on the camera it looks black, but I'm fairly certain the midnight is, um, based on the color, is a, is a dark blue. But I, I could be wrong with that. We'll see after I use it if, um, if it changes any color, gets any kind of patina with it. So uh, here, kind of how to use your Arrow wallet, right? So um, if you, again, take a look at my previous video, you can store up to eight cards in this uh, wallet. Um, I typically will have uh, three credit cards on one side and then I'll have my um, three different IDs that I have on the other side. And you probably ask yourself, why do you have so many IDs? And the answer to that is it's really none of your business. Ha, I'm joking. Uh, partially, but it really is none of your business. Uh, so it holds those perfectly. I didn't max it out with um, cards. I have three on each side, and then I have um, the elastic in the middle here, which they have on the leather version, a um, few dollars in there, so you can hold like three or four different bills in there. Um, taking a quick look at it, uh, based on their website, it says they use a top grain leather. Um, it feels like a good leather. Um, it feels soft in the hand. Uh, the stitching is single stitching around it. It looks um, fairly nice. We'll see again if that frays it all over time. I kind of have a suspicion it may, but we'll take a look at that over time. Um, you have uh, basic some inserts here to kind of show you uh, some of the features of it. So it is RFID blocking, says adventure ready. Uh, not exactly sure what that means. I guess it's probably very tough to tear um, and uh, rip apart. Uh, ultralight, made to last, ballistic material, uh, minimalist design, obviously, and possibly thin. The reason I really like the original um, Stealth, the Razor, was um, because of how thin it was, and I'm gonna like the same thing. You can see kind of from the profile here how thin it is, and um, I really like that. Uh, I like the fact that it's RFID blocking. I like the packaging. I am going to transfer all my stuff over to this wallet. I'm going to use it. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to see if this is a blue or a black color. They're midnight. On their website, I believe it only has, let's see, I'm going to bring that up real quick. 
on their website, it has two colors. It has a Pacific and a Midnight, and actually the Midnight looks like it's black. So um, I was hoping maybe they would send me the Pacific so I can get a little bit away from black, but apparently they knew that black is my favorite color for almost everything. If you've ever seen any of my videos, I enjoy that, and that is one of my uniforms. So, price on these guys, right? This one, the original Stealth Wallet, if you look at their website, uh, is going for $55. Uh, and again, I backed this on Kickstarter, and uh, I, I don't remember what I paid for it on Kickstarter, but it wasn't $55, but either way, $55 is a, is a good price for this, I feel like. I've used it, and uh, it's my favorite wallet, and I've spent a lot more on other wallets. And their leather wallet is $115, so about double the price of their Stealth Razor. Now, from my perspective, again, as a general user, I'm not exactly sure what justifies double the price other than possibly the manufacturing process. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program to bring you breaking news. I'm Alex Roundhouse, and we have just received information as to why the cost of this leather wallet is double the price of the regular Stealth wallet. According to Jake, who is the Chief Operating Officer, the leather is premium grade Napa cowhide from an Italian tannery that's recognized as a leader in sustainability. This alone is the reason for the bulk and cost difference, and they don't stop there. They actually buy Bond it to the fibers that are 15 times stronger than steel for even greater longevity. And at the end of all of this, it's edge coated in the finest quality edge paint on the market. And it's a very delicate process. There you have it, breaking news, back to your regularly scheduled program. I, I like this wallet and I really enjoy the, the, the actual design of this wallet coming from the Aero Collective folks and so don't get me wrong, I probably would have bought this anyways um, and truth be told, this was given to me by those folks there to kind of do a review and do a quick unboxing on it and I, I actually certainly appreciate that. So um, yes, of course I'm a little biased um, on that but the wallet actually is great, the original one that I paid for out of pocket. So um, do some research for yourself, take a look at the Aero website, um, take a look at my other videos. Um, I have some more details on their original wallet and I thank you all for watching and I appreciate your subscriptions if you got an itch to scratch you know it never hurts to reach out to people and ask them sometimes I actually reached out to them I said hey would you mind shooting me one of your leather wallets so I could wear it maybe do an unboxing and do a review on it and um, I'm gonna like this wallet, honestly. I like the stuff that comes out of them. So scratch your itches, ask some questions, have some fun. I'll see y'all later.